Salutations for Buses2 here, here with my long-awaited tutorial on how to port JSP level models from Battle for Bikini Bottom into the movie game. Only for GameCube, because that's where the main support is, and also I tried it many times on the Xbox version before this, but it doesn't work on the Xbox version for whatever reason. It just crashes, so don't even bother trying. So yeah, um, a couple things you'll need. GameCube Rebuilder, obviously, to extract and edit your ISOs. Industrial Park to extract and edit assets from the hip and hop archives. And you'll need a, need Magic TXD to edit the TXD uh, version of the textures that we're going to be adding to the movie game. And you'll also need these blank hip and hop files uh, for the movie game on GameCube. So firstly, we will extract our assets. We'll go to BFBB root, and for this tutorial I'll be doing Jellyfish Fields 1. So we open the hop file, then we drag the hip over it, just like normal. Go to the first model layer, click the JSP in the BSP layer. The BSP is the model layer, I should clarify. And go to export, go to wherever you want to export it, and uh, for this, I'll just make a new folder, go in there, and save it. Then go to the next one, do the same thing, but add a, no, oh, there we go. But add a zero at the end of it so it doesn't overwrite the other one. Do the next one, and this time do a one so it doesn't write the other two, overwrite the other two. And uh, then we do the JSP info, and for this one I'm just going to add info at the end, so I know it's different from the others. Info. And there we go. Now we go to edit TXD archive and export RW3. Then save the TXD archive as uh, whatever you'd like. I'm just going to name it TXD. And there we go. So now, I really don't like how industrial park, in industrial park, these sub windows here, I don't know what they're called, but they never go down unless you tell them to. It's really annoying, and they're always on top. I don't know why that is, but anyways, you go to, where did it, here. Now, you, this is where you'll need to install Magic TXD. It is, in it, the file that you download is an installer, so be prepared for that. Then you open it, and you'll see that it's on version 3.4.0.3. We need to change it to 3072, which is the version the movie game uses for GameCube, I might add. I think it's different between the console versions, but we're, this this mainly works on GameCube, so make sure it's set custom, platform, uh, I guess you don't need to do anything in that, and then data type GameCube, and then 702 and build A, press accept, exit, save, and there we go. Now we open the blank hip, or sorry, blank hop file, and drag the blank hip over it. And there we go. And we, did I close jellyfish fields? Oh no, good. I was going to say good, because I, I need to keep that open for another step in the tutorial. Now go to the first BF, BSP layer on the hop, go to import, asset type, do JSP, import data, do the first one that we exported from the original uh, jellyfish fields. There you go. BSP2. I'm sure you get the picture now. Just go on to the next file. Zero. Yeah, that's fine. Three, which in this case is two, because they're indexed at zero, I think. GSP. One. And there we go. All three of them are in there. Now we do the JSP info. Import. Again, as a JSP, even though I think the format is a little different. And I'm going to take the info off. OK. 
Okay. Yep, yep, yep. And now we import the TXD archive. So go to TXD archive, import RW3, and find the one that you modified to work with the movie game. And there you go. It's, uh, it's Joyfish Fields. So now we need to go to the hero uh, player asset in the blank hip and edit its coordinates to be the same as in the Battle for Bikini Bottom level. So where is... yeah, here. Find... Uh, go to the default layer of the hip, because that's where everything is stored in hips, and in the type... Asset Types drop-down menu, press Player. There's Spongebob, right-click, Edit Data, and now we just copy the positions. It's this art. I was copying the positions into the. Oh wow, I'm stupid. I was copying the positions into the scale. I knew something didn't look right there. There, that should be right. Hopefully. Gosh, I'm stupid. Oh. oh well. Anyways, uh, oh, yaw. Gotta copy over yaw. Oh wait, I already did. Never mind. So, um, yeah. Now we close that and save. And now we can close the other one too. Without saving, because we didn't do anything to it. And go back to our folder here. And now we create in the movie game root a new folder. Call it JF in all caps. Then we copy over our hop, hip and hop files we edited into that folder and rename them to. JF01. I don't know if it's case sensitive or not, any of this, but I like to do it just in case. I don't have the time to try and see if it's not, so. Then you go into SBO4.ini, and just to test it, we will set show menu on boot to zero, and then we change the level it boots into to JF01. Save it. And now I'm gonna go in the GameCube Rebuilder. Make sure op the options modify system files and do not use game.talk are checked. Go to open. Go to uh, wherever your ISO is that you extracted. The ISO tutorial movie root. Go to save. And save it as whatever you'd like. I'm just gonna replace this one I have here. Go to rebuild. Wait for this. You know what? I'm just gonna cut straight to the game. So, uh, yeah. See you at the game. Yeah! Alright, here we are at the game. And you will see question marks where uh, the name of the level should be. I'm not sure how to change that yet, but, uh, yeah, here it is. There's no skybox, so it's gonna look like that unused Patrick's Dream level. And I have the sound turned off right now, so... But as you can see, it is the... Um... Uh, Manager Dream Spongebob in Jellyfish Fields, and I don't think... Yeah, look, you can just walk on this part you're not even supposed to walk on. And there's no water here either. Gotta add that in separately, so... I'm just gonna play this for a little while. It's 
a really satisfying feeling to really get this done. Since I, I was so frustrated trying to figure it out on the Xbox. Whoa. There's a hole in the ground right there. Or there should be water, I guess. But it was really frustrating trying to get this work on the Xbox. Not knowing that, you know, it wasn't supported by Xbox. I should have I should have given myself upgraded moves in SBO4.ini. I blew it. I blew it, man. Well, I think this is as far as I'm going to be able to go because of this part right here. There was sock in there, something in the final game, maybe a shiny object. I don't remember. But anyways, that's it. That is how to port JSP level models from Battle for Bikini Bottom into the movie game on GameCube. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Thank you.